What are the dangers of being very attractive slash beautiful? You get a lot more attention than you probably want, lots of staring, and sometimes people following you. Tension within your own gender is your seen as competition. I hate this. I recently went to Florida to meet my brother's girlfriend who's 7 months pregnant. I never met her before, but the entire time down there she kept trying to make me insecure about myself. She called me fat in every way she could. She criticized my hair color, how I parted my hair and even my macube. I dealt with this for 5 whole days. Thankfully my husband was with me and kept me level, but it was disgusting how she hyper focused on me and I didn't react. I worked in a prison for a while, so I'm good at placating anger with stoicism. It's been 2 weeks since we came back and she's still passive aggressively sending me texts and being a snide bitch. Told my brother that I wanted nothing to do with her and that she needs to not breathe in my direction anymore. So badly wanted to tell her that I would be able to lose my weight if I walked the distance of her forehead. I behaved though. Edit, thank all of you all for your support and sharing the rage I feel over this situation. Case in point, be cool to each other and don't be like my brother's gf. I'm not very attractive or beautiful because there are more good looking ladies out there, but I attract lots of creepy people. When I was a teenager, my older sister told me that I'm a pedophile magnet and I cried a lot. Edit to add, thank you to those who expressed their concerns and shared their experience. I love my sister and I always look up to her. She told me those words maybe because she got tired at one point, but she never stopped caring. I love her so much. I always go to her instead of my parents whenever I encounter creeps. I'm 25 years old now, moved to another country, but nothing much has changed. I'm 5 feet tall, weighs 45 kilograms, and have a baba face. Not curvy too. So most people still think I'm a child or a teen. They always thought I'm around 15 to 18. The disgusting thing is, if people who don't know me thinks I'm a teen, then why some of them are still trying to get my number, touch me on bus slash train, harass me online, etc. I'm more angry than scared now. Some people really are disgusting. P.S. English is my second language. I have more to add, but don't know how to express it. My heart goes to all the victims of abuse. Friendships falling apart when their partner is attracted to you. Friendships falling apart when you're genuinely trying to be friends with someone of the opposite sex and they end up falling in love with you. When people who are your friends take every chance they can to criticize your appearance or anything else, whatever little crumb of shade they can use to humble you. Yep, I have a few flaws, not major ones. But my housemate keeps commenting on my fat, even though I'm quite low body fat percentage, and the fact that my teeth aren't completely straight. Not once have I received a compliment from him about how I work very hard to keep myself healthy and hygienic. If you become unattractive for any reason you may find it difficult to reconcile that you are no longer attractive. Examples, car wreck, injury, aging, disease, becoming obese. I'm sure there are more. If you're used to being attractive and you identify as such, consciously or subconsciously, it can be really hard to come to terms with a change in that. Not knowing if you're actually funny, or well spoken, or talented, or charismatic. This reminds me of the episode of 30 Rock with John Hamm. Think it's called the bubble. Regardless of gender, I think some people would get obsessed with you to the point they'll harm other people to just get your attention. Or themselves. Happens more often than you'd think. Classmate in high school went on a date with a guy who had a crush on her to give him a chance because everyone pressured her into it since he was a nice guy. Threatened suicide if she stopped talking to him. Being tasked with killing the Prime Minister of Malaysia. The question was for people who were very attractive. Not for people who are really really ridiculously good looking. Reading this in his voice made me smile. I people will often mistake friendliness for flirting. I'm really fucking ass ugly but very friendly. Oftentimes it comes across as flirting and it freaks men out because they think ooh which is frustrating because it's just the way I act towards people. Edit, thank you people for the fun I had with your replies, you made my day, umm, not sure what your intentions are with this post, but I'm married. 
I'm not very beautiful probably, as I'm older now, 46. But I'm a Japanese woman in the UK and a lot of people seem to maybe fetishize this. I have no idea why, and it irks me a little. I hate that I sometimes am not taken seriously, or just seen as an unintelligent airhead. In Japan I suppose I was considered beautiful when I was younger, not now. I'm old and ugly, and there was an expectation often voiced of why even bother with uni, because you are pretty enough for a very rich husband and can become a trophy wife. This made me mad and is one part of the reason why I leave to live in the UK. Also so much groping, but this affects many young women in Japan, unfortunately, and accusations always of flirting and feeling that you may be arrogant. For example to even complete this answer. But I don't personally feel beautiful, I just have been told this by others many times in my youth. But yes, I add this presumption that you're arrogant or vain also. I'm glad to no longer be beautiful, but just average looking slash ugly. Eater sometimes women think you are going to steal their husband when you have zero interest in this. If you're really attractive and also quiet, people think you're snobby. Also, you get unwanted comments from creeps a lot. Edit, adding as a woman to avoid any confusion. This happened to me last week. Went out to help a friend with an event and he introduced me to a lot of people working at the fair. I talked to them nicely then I went to sit down in a place where I wouldn't bother anyone since they were busy selling their crafts to people. Sometime later my friend told me everyone thought I was a huge cunt because I sat down away from everyone. I was told I'm not the type of a girl someone dates because they've been with too many other guys. When I was a virgin, another guy tried to hook up with me kept calling me beautiful. I kept saying no, I'm only looking for long term slash a relationship. He said something like what a waste, you're made for sex saying it like a compliment. His tone was flirty, I'd fk but I'll never forget that it's hard to find someone to want more than to fuck me as some trophy girl. Lots of older men at bars think you're into them, but really you're just being polite. Edit, I was drunk when I wrote this and do not usually speak so definitively. So sorry y'all, I do not think all older men are like this. It definitely does happen, but not all older men are like this. Stalkers, men, and women touching you for no reason, including hair and face. People thinking you have nothing to offer but your looks too lousy. Being called a whore, slutty tc. People diminish your problems, they think because you're beautiful everything is easier for you. I've had friends laugh and say I have pretty people problems even in situations where I've been threatened and harassed. The worst part about it all is I don't feel like I'm actually that attractive. My self confidence is so low, and if I talk about it, I sound like I'm crying for attention. So I just keep to myself. You aren't taken seriously. Men get very nervous around me, which in turn makes me nervous. My interactions with a lot of men in general is pretty negative. You get snide comments from other women. It's often assumed you're just a pretty girl with zero problems. I've had women grab my crotch, try to put their hands down my pants, back into me in busy pub slash clubs for way too long. My barber started grinding on my elbow once, that one haunted me for a while. I've lost people I thought were friends that got offended when they realized me being nice wasn't because I was attracted to them. I had my drink spiked by someone I thought was my friend. I don't drink alcohol. Luckily I have great guy friends who got me home safe. It's obvious who it was because she was screaming at them to back quote, let me take care of him. When I started dating my ex-wife, some of her friends would try to seduce me and be offended when I said I was uncomfortable. One of them even felt me up at our wedding. I think people can just be shitty when they don't get what they want. I'm a teacher. On three separate occasions in a grade 6, 8, and 11 classes I walked in a student said out loud Ms. You are really pretty. It makes me feel uncomfortable because I never really know how to respond, especially if other staff are in the room. The students may be nicer to me, but I know other teachers think I'm stupid, sadly. Plus, people also think that I have a big ego, when in reality I'm super inner secure and nothing without Macoop. As a woman you can't be friends with men, and women generally tend to dislike slash compete with you. It's also dangerous to walk around by yourself in public alone, especially at night. 
People tend to minimize any struggles you may have, and if you have social anxiety, like I do then all of the above issues are compounded and make for a lonely life as far as friends go. Happily married and have a stepdaughter, I love my little family. It is difficult though. I know someone who is very attractive, but has a lot of image related mental issues. As in they grew up always being told they're beautiful, they think a lot of their value is associated with their beauty, they constantly criticize and compare themselves to others, etc. I'm sure this isn't a problem for all attractive people, but I think it's not talked about as much. The end. Thanks for watching.